So are you using a teleprompter and need to be able to flip your PowerPoint slides so that they reflect back accurately in the mirror? Well, I actually have two videos on this, but I have an even faster solution. And I do believe this is going to be the fastest solution that you are going to find on YouTube. So stick around to learn what that solution is. All right, so I recently received a comment on one of my videos saying, is there a faster way to do this? Like perhaps a macro, because if you have say 100 slides, just flipping all of them is just gonna take too much time. And I actually sat down and I tried to code a macro, even though I don't know anything about Visual Basic, and turns out I cannot do it. So what I did is I went to Fiverr, I paid somebody to do it, and I'm going to be giving you that solution. I'm gonna send you out that, that software. It's very simple, I'm gonna show you how I use it. I'm gonna let you like and comment on this video and then just send me a little note saying you want it and I'll send it to you. But I will also show you just in case you are not interested in getting a piece of software, uh, another solution that I have that's even faster than previous videos I produced. And so let's get started. Okay, so I've opened up PowerPoint and as you can see here, I've got a variety of elements. I've got the flip PowerPoint um, slide here that's just basically from the design feature in PowerPoint. I've got an image with some text. I've got a shape with some text in it with a picture in the background. And I have a slide with multiple elements just to really show you that what, I, what you can use with the application will do all of the changing. So what you're trying to do is rotate this, mirror it by 180 degrees. And of course, in all kinds of videos, I've shown you how to do this. But let's look at the super fast solution. What you're going to do is go over to my website and basically fill out a form and say, yep, I agree that I understand that this is not warranty guaranteed or any of that kind of stuff. And then what you're going to do is you will then get an application called Flipper. It'll download, it's a very small file, just 10 kilobytes. Double click on that. Now what it's going to do is say, hey, do you want to enable macros? Now I got this from a reputable vendor through Fiverr, has a five star rating. I've run this through several virus checkers and I'm all good to go. I've been using it for several days now. And what I just enabled was a my add-ins. And so you can see here, there's the flip shapes. What I'm going to do is just click on that and boom, goes all the way through. This could be 100 slides even. And it just flipped all of those very magically. So I do believe this is the fastest solution you're going to find for this. Let's go ahead and hit control Z. Um, the other solution that you can use is to, and again, this is faster than what I've normally shown because before what I was showing was to basically go to format shape, go to this little widget here, 3D rotation, and then rotate 180. Now I showed you how to do this with a variety of things, but the problem is, as you can see, is it only flips one thing and it's not the fastest out there. So if you're not comfortable downloading the application I just suggested, what you can do is hit control A so I just discovered this myself and rotate 180 and it'll do that for you, okay? Um, or you can go to the next slide, for example, and just highlight everything with your mouse and then also format shape and rotate 180 and it'll do exactly the same thing. So again, that is the flip shape. Let me show you one other way that you can do the flip shapes. Closed out my PowerPoint presentation. I can actually open the flipper first, enable the macro, and then just drag the presentation onto the deck. It'll open up, the My Add-in is there, click Flip Shapes, and there you go. Again, very fast. So how do you get this application if you are interested in it? Well, what you're going to do is head over to my personal website, craigingstream.ninja. This is my teaching website, and it's going to be PowerPoint forward slash, or not forward slash hyphen macro. I will have a link in the description. You're going to basically leave a comment in the video, also like the video, please, and then just consent to these items here. Click I understand, click submit, and you'll be able to then download the file. I will limit this for a certain period of time. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and ask me. Of course, I do hope that you will like, share, subscribe, all of those great things, and tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. As you can see, I do listen to my viewers, and I'd like to answer any of your inquiries. Have a great day.